Welcome back. It's still Entertainment TV live on Metro Television, and that was our first guest, Yao Black. And he is a Ghanaian singer and songwriter who goes by the name George Soma Jinfe. I love to mention at least uh, their personal name. I mean, their real names. Yeah, if you if you feel like you're connected to them. But musically, he's known as Yao Black. And he is promoting, currently he's promoting his five-track EP that was released on the 22nd of April 2023. Welcome to Entertainment TV. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm also good. Just your glasses. I'm not seeing your eyes. How can we connect? Once see the eyes. Connect. Oh, I yeah, have to connect with you. <laughs> I think he's representing the black as well. Black oh. or black. Uh -huh. right. You see? Mm. Viewers can also... I it's, mean, a bit, it's a bit too bright. So. Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay. But then let's connect. Sure. Anyways, yeah. How are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm also good. That's thanks great. for accent. I mean, I, I want to start the conversation with your background, especially educational background. Okay. Yes. You you did okay, let me let me say <laughs> as it is. You have a bachelor's degree in actuarial science. Actuarial science. Wow. Yeah. And a master's degree in sociology. Yeah. From the University of Constant Confucian, UCC. Please, the University <laughs> of Competitive Choice. Woo! <laughs> Why is this one, right? <laughs> anyway, but but what exactly is let me take my time. Actuarial science. So, um, <laughs> actuarial science basically talks about insurance, pensions, risk okay. assessment, and okay. risk management. So, mm -hmm. we deal with statistics and mm -hmm. probabilities. Okay. We try to forecast um, the risk involved in any business or any okay. venture. Okay. And then you would um, assign values to them when you are taking premiums for insurance or okay. anything. Okay. So, basically, life insurance, vehicle, property yeah. insurance. So yeah. if someone wants to have a business, like you guys are the right people they have to speak to exactly. to get the for, like the foresight, yeah, exactly. give them a, a, a whole view of what exactly yeah. will be the outcome. Yeah. Wow. And with all this, <laughs> and you want to do music. Hey, your friends are calling. Why? If God calls you, you can't say no. Then do gospel. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's the thing. You can't particularly say just doing gospel songs will be like the calling. You yeah. Get yeah. yeah, you can reach out to more people mm -hmm. and impact more lives doing the kind of music I'm doing. Exactly, that's how I see it. Yeah. So um, I did my master's in sociology, as you said, exactly. and it's more of trying to connect more with like people and understanding human behavior mm -hmm. and all that. So basically, I know the kind of songs I drop out and how I try to like send a message across, something that okay. a lot of people can relate to. Yeah. So you could be going through something and then you hear my song, you listen to it and you'll be like, oh, this is something I'm actually going through. Yeah. So you can vibe and relate more with it. Yeah, basically. That's, that's cool. And also in your bio, you said something interesting. You said music has been my escape. Yeah. In most of the situations I have faced in life. Yeah. And that has inspired me to make music that will comfort. When you think about music, when you hear music, personally for you, how, how, how would you describe music? What does it do to you that you want to be impactful, uh, be it impactful to others? Music is life. Like, everything that goes on in the world is music yeah. there's rhythm in literally everything we do how we walk how we talk and all that so um when i'm going through tough situations i believe everyone does i listen to music i create music and it just takes me away from everything else it puts me in like a blank space so I get a new canvas where I get to paint on. And mm -hmm. I feel like when people are going through things, if you can just help them zone out and it's not through drugs or alcohol or yeah. anything, then yeah. it's basically the best way you can like give anybody help, talk to people without being there. So it's more of therapy for me. Yeah. And I, I want yeah. to do that for other people too. Yeah. And how long have you been doing music? Ooh, I've been I've been singing for a while, like, but professionally, professionally yeah. um, I think it was in 2019 after my I, I finished with school and I'm like, okay, we are done with this now. Now let's focus and go, <laughs> <laughs> let's focus and go all out. Then I went through with like releasing my first EP and started to go on shows and do interviews and promote myself as an yeah. artist. So professionally, I think since the end of 2019. Yeah. That's when you actually... But when you said, I'm done with this, how, how did your family pick that? 
it's it wasn't easy at first yeah, because you go you don't go to university yeah. to go and study that big <laughs> brothel yeah. and then you say you are just letting go and you've done your masters yeah i like to learn a lot okay. and you don't do only like learning only in the classroom and so i got the chance to learn in the classroom mm -hmm. now i want to learn on the streets be like for me as a man i feel like you have to know everything yeah so when i started it wasn't easy with them um there were a few issues trying to understand like wait why are you doing this you could do a job a nine to five i'm i don't i'm not cut out for a nine to five yeah. I want to do more than just a ninety-five. I want to work two four seven. Okay. If I'm tired, I break down, I sleep, recover, and then go again. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm a bit of a rebel. I don't okay. know how to take like stick to orders. Like, okay, uh, okay. So. Helen, Helen will be coming <laughs> in very, very soon. But then, music is rosy. It's a very fun adventure. Yeah. And but it's not easy at all. Um it 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 demands determination to be able to survive in a in a music industry. Um how do you intend be it in a music industry is very competitive. How do you intend to actually survive everything that happens around music? Um I'm very privileged to have like an amazing support system. People around me are always picking me up when I'm down. Because there are times that I'll be like, is this thing really worth it? Like, yeah. should we continue? And then mm -hmm. they'll be like, oh, we're almost there. Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> so let's yeah. go. Let's keep going. And that has really been keeping me going. Because left to me alone, I'm pretty sure I'd have been broken by mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. by the top system. Yeah. But then we keep... Um, Grace is always always also locating us. Yeah. You get to a point where you feel like, oh, we are done for. Then some call will come in and be like, yo, we have this opportunity. Do you want to hop on it? And then it sends you to the next big thing that you are looking yeah. for. So the support system, God, literally everyone that listens to my music, you see the numbers and you be like, okay, we have to keep doing this because people are listening. So that's their motivation. But you also mentioned that when one listens to your song, some way, somehow, they are able to get out of whatever issues they might be facing and all that. Can we say you are doing motivational music? I feel my voice is a therapy. Your voice? <laughs> my voice is a therapy. Okay. Like, um, it's comforting to listen. I listen to my music, and I'm not saying this to try and brag or anything, but I listen to my music and I be like, bro, you can sing. Like, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And... Sometimes when I'm going through things, I listen to my own music. Wow. Stuff that I've not even released yet. And with the last project I did, um, Love or Something Else, is a journey that any listener will go through and feel like, yeah, like this is something I can relate to and understand. Yeah. So, is this, so, can, mm. so it's not only making motivational songs. Right. But you have to make... So sometimes people want to hear about love. Like, they right. want to hear about... Um, money party money right. <laughs> like you motivate them to go out there and do more so there's more to it than just the motivational songs okay but you talking about sometimes almost wanting to give up and your people around you who are very supportive and all that uh how has been your relation with people in the industry already people we already know how close are you to them how do they accept you how is it like um it's not it's not smooth you would have not everybody will like you obviously some people hate your gut be like boy you cry they see himself <laughs> and other people will be like oh i like your confidence right people would have different opinions about you and so far it's been good like it's been it's been more than good because even with this i got a call like yo are you down i'm like of course let's do this so the industry has been supporting me i feel like they are part of my support system that i was talking about and i would never have anything bad to say about the industry as a whole even though you might be able to pick things from it that wouldn't be the best but on the whole the industry has been really great yeah but I saw one song from your EP that's talking about Juju. Juju I don't know whether it's Juju Love or Juju Love. Oh, Juju which? Love. Juju <laughs> Love. What is it? Uh, have you had any experience personal? Someone Juju? Because uh, these days things are really happening and people are, don't seem to be themselves. Have you had any experience? Um, I think love? Juju Love is more of um, an experience where it was the girls, people not understanding 
why you'd want to be with someone like he wants to be an artist and usually in our society people would say an artist is not particularly like some something you can rely on um, at the long run when you're done what happens people finish music and then they don't have anything to show for it so there's no insurance so it's not it's kind of like what they are not understanding why this person is still with you okay into it's juju love like what have you done to her so oh. yeah but have you done anything to her <laughs> i'm a strong christian hallelujah ah, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can we can go to church right now right yeah <laughs> take you to church to note wow so that's how come that that song came about yeah yeah and did you love this from my first EP? Okay, okay. Uh, so not yeah. your recent EP. Yeah, not the recent oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow, very. But how was that EP received before you even come to? How was that EP uh, received? Um, Shades of Black it? was the first body of work I put out, and it was received very well. And that actually um, helped with my confidence because people listened to it and they were like, bro, we didn't know you were like this good. And there's a lot of. Um, versatility in the EP because I didn't just do the regular style that people would know me to, to do. I tried to put in different elements and grow from my usual and I built on that from there. Yeah. But then before even you continue, so what genre can we consider your music? What, what, do you, what kind of music do you do? Um, as a Ghanaian artist, it's primarily um, high life Afrobeat, but then I I have influences from R and B. I listen to a lot of R and B, so you had you try to merge that. So basically, Afro beats, I, I should say. Why is it that these days a lot of you young artists would definitely somehow merge Afro beats with high life? Why is it not high life? Is high life not really us? Can't we take high life to the world? Is it that we have lost confidence in the genre high life? Um, it's more of. A we are growing, and it's some high life has been in the world. OCB said they, they, the likes of Bessa Simons, um, Uncle Ebo Taylor, and yeah. all. Like, they've done amazing with high life. And we, we are in a generation where the world is evolving, it's become a global village. So, influences wouldn't be from just one side. You kind of learn from other places and measure what you have, and that will be able to appeal to. A larger audience than on a normal day just doing high life for me would appeal to yeah right but on, on the back of that um sometimes when you don't identify with one genre don't you feel it becomes worrisome when they are trying to place you in a particular category in an award show um it's it there's some there will be a generic sound mm -hmm. that you would put out there okay regardless of doing other things mm -hmm. there's something that everybody will know you for be like oh this boy's like when it comes to reggae yeah he's doing amazing yeah um stone boy for instance would do afro dance or that's what True. he calls it now True. but he would do reggae songs exactly. he would do i'm a piano vibes yeah. and all that so it doesn't really limit you mm -hmm. i feel like it gives you the chance to explore more, more? Okay. and just touch on yeah. other bases so which one Let's say Stone Boy, Reggae Dancehall, um, who, who else should I also, episode also Reggae Dancehall, but it comes to do high life. Which one do you identify with? If I'm any day, Afro Pop. Afro Pop, okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah. that's good. So you were on a, a music reality show, show yeah, yeah, yeah. and you were third? Third runner up. Third runner up. Yeah. Were you pursuing music before you entered? I think that was right after I released my first EP. Okay. Um, right after school. Okay. So I was like, I've not done anything like this before. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I try? Get yeah. myself out there, build my confidence week in and week out. And it was my first audition ever for anything. Okay. So I went there and then nobody even responded when I greeted. So I was like, okay, <laughs> let me just do this. Is so, it from the judges or yeah, your yeah, other yeah. competitors? No, the, the judges. Who are the judges? <laughs> I can't mention names. Yeah. Oh, but I know. If you, I know, you know their competition, we definitely. Yeah, yeah if, I, if I mention. At two judges. It was. It was. Um, my, Female and male. There were there were two males actually on that day. Okay. Because I auditioned in Takradi. Okay. So they had different okay, okay. people. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Takradi will be different. Then you come to Accra. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So 
You agreed to it and nobody responded. Nobody responded. I was like, wow, okay, let's do this. <laughs> they were just trying to yeah, make were, you feel I, I, intimidated. I feel like they were tired too. Okay. Because okay. I was the last but one person to audition. Wow. Mm. I got there. I wasn't sure I wanted to go. I got there pretty late. I was like, Bro, yeah, because you know, not to cut you, but for someone who has already released an e- an EP, you know, mostly it's usually people going for competitions, and yeah. then after that, they will now release their song. Yeah. But you have an EP, and then you go to a competition. Oh, this is yeah. quite interesting. And my producer then was like, "You can sing, do this, like oh. go." Yeah. So I went there, and what? the moment I started singing, they looked up. And now they were paying attention. Oh. And he was like, can you do another song? I started, okay, now nah, another song. So I did about five songs because wow. they wanted to see you singing different things. Yeah. And Your af- versatility. Yeah, after then. I did that, they were like, see, come for the gold card. Meet you in Accra. Yeah. And okay. I was like, okay, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but was it, um, we've seen different reality shows and this one was also like a reload of an, a previous yeah. reality show yeah w- was your expectation met whatever um um i would say um education whatever steps learning process that you went through yeah. was it what you anticipated will happen because you were already doing something else you had already released an ep why would you go? But then you go onto a different platform. Did the platform provide what exactly you needed to yeah, up your I, music? I, I, was, I was on TV every weekend. Okay. And I went all the way through to the final. Mm-hmm. So with that, there will be times where you'll be stressed. Yeah. But you still have to show up for rehearsal and yeah. go perform. Yeah. There will be times something will happen before a show. And they don't care. Like show mm-hmm. up and deliver. Yeah. They will, you'll be judged based on what happens on the stage and not backstage. And that built me as an artist uh-huh. because it will help you know that no matter what you're going through, once you get on the stage, you have to deliver for your fans. True. You come back and then you, you face whatever you have to face. Yeah. And with that to, um, being said, me performing live with live band, it also built me a lot. So now I can perform for like hours not No miming. Exactly. <laughs> I, I can mind, but yeah. it's, but it's yeah. better. Yeah. Live exactly. performance. It feels yeah. way better. Yeah. Because that way you get to like connect with the crowd and interact very well with them. Yeah. yeah. And what of the mentorship level? Because I know these reality yeah. shows, you have mentors coming in. What are some of the impacts they had on you? Um, some will break you down. Okay. I remember well, I'm not doing anything yeah, at all. F- after the first show, it was my first time doing anything TV. After the first show, I remember I go on stage and I forgot my lyrics. You were doing your own song? No, I was doing um, Jealous by Fireboy. Okay. Okay. And the rehearsal was amazing. Everybody was talking about <laughs> it. Like, bro, you had one of the best rehearsals. Wow. I go on the stage, I saw the light, I saw people, and like, I froze. Stage fright. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But... <laughs> I backstage, my personal mentor was like, in quotes, hey, we have a man who sent me far over her. Who was your personal mentor? <laughs> you want to bring me kiss? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I know. The man in the mix. So, oh, yeah. okay. I get it. Okay. Yeah, and on the final day, we were backstage together. Mm. And he was like, boy, I'm so proud of you. Wow. Like, wow. What shocking me because you kept on growing week in, week out. Yeah. After everything we said to you, mm-hmm. you never let that break you down. Yeah. Like you were always coming up and doing better than the previous week. You go out there and I know you can make it. Fine, yes. Exactly. And you, are, you are shining. You're right. And you have your second EP. Let's yeah. talk about the EP. Yep, right. yep, yep, yep. The title. Love I, or I saw you having a shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you bring that in. Oh, love or something else. Love what? Love or something else. Uh, what else? Something else. Like um, money, music, work, mm. friends. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of distraction. Yeah. So. So you you had your first EP previously. Yeah. And then a second EP too. Why didn't you go in for like an album? Why another EP? Um. For I feel like an album is very expensive one, yeah. and then it takes a lot of effort. I'd, I've started building an album, yeah. and it's something I'll work on over a couple of years, get a big catalog, and then select from. Okay. With an EP, I know if I have like, oh, this is how I'm feeling right now. Okay, let me make songs about it. I need to paint this picture. Then I will make an EP. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So on the EP, you have five songs. Hello, ABC yeah. Love, Love or Something Else. That's a the, the, title mm, track. Title track. Yeah. Jealous and Don't Go. I think so far so good. I enjoy Jealous. Right. Yeah. Oh, are you a jealous person? <laughs> no, I, am I think not. a lot of ladies are jealous. Actually. No, me, you I'm not. not right? I'm not. Ah. I, I naturally am not. See, you oh, know wow. the funny thing. People that say yeah. they are not jealous. Yeah, oh, they're jealous. No, ones, you know? <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. It's not that. You see, sometimes uh, you become so used to disappointment that you don't mm. become disappointed anymore. I wow. never want to get used to disappointment. Right. I'm, me, I'm used to. So I don't really have to pull it's, my. It's hard to believe. Oh, oh you have right. to find your that gets you know, used to they disappointment. Oh, you have. Sorry, but, but, but let's talk about right. jealous mm. itself. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about that. What was the inspiration behind it? And even um, why center on just five track? So as you explain why yeah. five track, yeah. then you center a bit on jealous. jealous. Yeah. So um, love or something else? It's a picture I painted about what my love story had been like. Okay. As then. Um, you start from the hello. You meet somebody and like. <laughs> Hi, hello, what's up? Like, you know? That's last. And then that's where the vibe starts. So the first word I would ever say to somebody, like when I go in, I was like, um, hello, good. Yeah. I'm like, so okay. the hello is the first on a lot of instances. Yeah. And then um, we moved to ABCD mm -hmm. Love. Yeah. And that's me trying to communicate the kind of vibe I want to have. Okay. Something as simple and as easy as yeah. ABCD. I'm not in the mood, okay? You tell me. I, I want to go here. Let's communicate. If you yeah. don't talk, then it's not easy. Yeah. Now you're trying to, like, what's wrong with this person? Is this person okay? There's a lot that goes into it. But if we keep it simple by communicating and trying to make sure we understand each other, then it's very easy like ABCD. Then love or then something Then love or something else. else. Yeah. It, it takes you to the point where you are wondering, like, okay, is this everything love. I thought it would be? <laughs> mm. And then now you are torn between, okay, I had friends before I met this person. I had a career I was building before I met this person. Yeah. I need to make money. Mm -hmm. I need to go out sometimes to like build my social life. Yeah. So you are torn between, do you keep on being like in, in that honeymoon phase? Yeah. Like you are there. Or do you attend to other mm, things? Other things, And yeah. that's where, like, the... the jealousy exactly. comes in. Oh, so, <laughs> I'm not getting the picture. Yeah. So now you are trying to be out there, trying to find a balance. Like, yeah. you're looking for money. Because love without money is trash. Yes. Right. Like, How can you, mean, you love without eh, money? Kaka kaka cry. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. Right. So you talk about jealous being, like, um, the first line is, I feel so bad when you call and I don't pick up. Yeah. Basically, I'm out there. I'll pick up, I'll call back yeah. if I was there. But then you still see this person with other people right. smiling. Mm -hmm. There's always a guy somewhere that's trying to call you. Be like, oh, I can comfort you. Oh, <laughs> just just link up. BFFs. <laughs> yes, the BFFs. So those people. Okay, and the last one. And the last one is don't go. Don't go. Yeah like please don't go wow because they get tired of yes. a woman will get tired yeah that's a beautiful one yeah. but but yeah. banana uh, so, uh, so, uh, yeah what what next uh i know you're promoting the yeah. uh, uh, the mm -hmm. album the ep mm -hmm. and do you have a video i think you have a video for i love. have a lyrics video for love okay. or something else so the next thing is you put out yeah videos. i'll put out a video for don't go okay and there's also another project coming, coming up. up wow um, that's called please don't air is Please that, don't air. Yeah, that's another EP. Then the next time you do D and D, <laughs> you do not disturb. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? From Lava okay, Boy. Okay, uh, thank uh -huh. you very much. Any final words? Your social media handle, where uh, or there, your fans, yeah. viewers can follow you. And okay, everything. so you can find me on all social media. Why mm -hmm. Black Music? Okay. Why BL VCK? Then music. Yeah. Why BL VCK music? Okay. I want to big up. Everybody in Cape Coast, like, True. they've been so big on this. They've been posting on all the socials and all that. Like, I, I came from Cape Coast for the interview. Okay, for the, for interview. the interview. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's yeah. a delight so, to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, to everybody that has been supporting us, um, believed in the dream and still believe in, this is just the beginning. Yeah, it's a big ups to Smelling Good Gang. Um, okay. As you too. Thank you very much for coming to our studios. This shouldn't be your first and your last. Uh, mm -hmm. We are always here to support for a good cause. Thank you for having me. Okay. Really appreciate it. Okay.